Hello and a very warm welcome back to Hughes Nursery and happy World Bee Day. The United Nations declared the 20th of May as World Bee Day and this was actually an idea proposed by Slovenia and a few days ago I had the pleasure to visit this absolutely incredible country. The 20th of May also happens to be the birthday of, and I hope I pronounced his name correctly. I did not pronounce his name correctly. His name is Anton Jansha. Anton Jansha. Jansha. And he was a Slovenian beekeeper back in the mid to late 1700s. And he's basically known as a pioneer of modern day beekeeping. As a gardener, having bees and pollinating insects is very important and they play a huge role with our fruit crops. So for example, apples and squash. Apple trees are organised into different pollination groups. What we want to do is actually plant these pollination groups close to each other because an apple will not produce a very good yield at all if it's just by itself without any other apple trees in the same pollination group. What they need is pollen from other apple trees to help them get a really good crop. And with squash it's slightly different. You want to transfer the pollen from the male to the female flower. And of course you can do all this by hand, but having bees to do that for you does save a lot of time. The Slovenian attitude to bees and beekeeping was immensely inspiring. And for a population of only around 2 million, they actually have 18 people working in their beekeepers association. And when you look at the ratios of beekeepers in Slovenia compared to the UK, I think it does say a lot. So in Slovenia, one in every 250 citizens are a beekeeper, but the UK ratio is one in every 1500. Before I show you the most beautiful of apiaries, I just want to highlight what a hotel was doing. And this was a hotel I stayed at in the capital city of Ljubljana. What they're doing right on top of their roof. So, hi, uh, my name is Zene. Behind you can see our bees. There are four beehives right now, but we started with uh, one, then two beehives uh, for a year. Uh, we got connected with Gorast, which uh, has his company, which is called Ur Urban Beekeeper. Uh, he put these beehives here firstly because uh, as a test, uh, we didn't know how it would work because it's uh, on the 12th floor uh, and nobody in Ljubljana ever had uh, beehives this high. As a test, we put one beehive up and we saw that actually it's not uh, even a problem. Uh, bees are really smart, so they use uh, uh, the energy of the hot air going up uh, to the rooftop. Uh, and they're actually one of the best beehives Gorast has uh, here in Ljubljana. Ljubljana is a really green city, so they have enough food. Everybody's asking, oh, but wh where they can get uh, food to eat? Uh, it's everywhere. We have so many parks around Ljubljana, everything is green. Those bees have a range of about four or five kilometers to pick up uh, the pollen. Uh, and they go all around all of, all of these parks. We had four beehives uh, right now for uh, a year. We got 55 kilos of honey last year, uh, which we use down on the breakfast uh, or we use it in our uh, uh, ice cream. It's a nice talking point. Uh, we get the point across if we have something real, something living on our uh, rooftop. Because being green as a hotel, you need to have something that people can see, can hold in the hands, uh, so it's not greenwashing it's something real. As you know bees are the most important animal in the animal kingdom that's why we started and supported Gorast because uh, there's not enough bees in the world. Something I really love about urban beekeeping is especially if you're keeping bees on a high rooftop that the bees actually use physics to get to the hive so they use the rising temperature to help them get back on top of the building. And I think something like that is just absolutely amazing and how they can find their way back home is pretty unbelievable. If you want to compare, say, British beekeeping to Slovenian beekeeping, one of the biggest differences is the colour. And the apiaries and hives in Slovenia are full of amazing, bright, colourful colours. But in the UK, they tend to be a wooden box. For example, ours are currently a wooden box, but I am inspired to change them. So you go and see these apiaries and you think, why on earth have they done all these amazing colours and even put panels on the front of hives and each hive would have its own design. And it turns out that back in the 1800s, before people discovered that bees would find their hive by the smell of the queen bee hormone, they felt that if they painted hives different colours and added different designs, it will help them 
get to the right home. And I think something like that is amazing and to still see that tradition going on over 200 years later is hugely impressive. So my name is uh, Blasio Mrožić. I'm the beekeeper from Selo Pribledu. This place is the beekeeping place uh, of Ambrožić. In springtime, uh, only bees are the one uh, insect who during the winter they live in colonies. And in that section, that's why in April are capable in one hive now, for example, is about 40 to 50,000 bees. And that's why in that num this, is, this is the number which is available and also possible to do the pollinization here. Uh, all the other insects, wasp, hornet, bumblebees, during the winter survives only the queen. And now is the time when the queen is searching for the nest, uh, so they will start to build the colony. And they are not strong enough to do the pollinization. If the bees we would, wouldn't be here, we, we would have a big problem, because there would be no, not so much food, and uh, because of that we would probably have wars and everything. We look after the bees, uh, we like the bees uh, so much that you can see on the background every hive is in color. Apiaries are housed man meant it only for bees, which are turned southeast, so the bees get the morning sun quick and the afternoon sun they don't get it. Uh, in that way the hives are protected from the rain and from the snow. Also uh, the beekeepers who work with the bees in Aji hives are protected. We can also work in the rain. And we also, during our work, have epitherapy. Uh, we breathe air from the hive because uh, this is a closed container and the uh, epitherapy, the income air from the hive is much higher than the one from the Langstroth hive when you work outside. Thank you so much for watching this video and in the video description I've included some links which you might want to check out if you want to find out a bit more about bees and pollinating. In the meantime stay tuned for some more videos, I've got at least two other videos that I filmed in Slovenia which I can't wait to share and also I'm really looking forward because next week I'm going to the Chelsea Flower Show for the first time ever so I might make a vlog.